What's up guys, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and this is a Lightroom tutorial on split toning. Now split toning is a technique that is used primarily in black and white images, and that is to give sort of a, a you know, a hue or a color, a shade of color on that black and white image to give it a certain feel. Um, so let's just turn this image black and white, and then let's go back to the split toning. So there here it's, you know, black and white, but if I want to give it a warmth, I can add sort of a, a a color to it to give it a warmth, uh, a look to it. I can also give it a cooler look if I wanted to by putting like a blue or something like that. I can even ha have like sort of color in the highlights and then I can have a color on the shadows to give it a certain, a certain look, a certain uh, pop and a feel. But what I want to do today is show you how it's used in colored images. Now I don't see this being used a lot, but this is something that I like to use on my colored images because I think it can, you know, sort of change the mood of a colored image. So let's bring this back to color and then let's go back to split tone. So right now this is just a regular um, lit image in terms of the lighting. It's pretty neutral. But what we can do is with the highlights, let's say, we can make it warmer. As you can see, it added warmth to all of the buildings. It war added warmth to everything, the road, uh, the man's arm, everything. Let's see how it was before. There, it's pretty neutral. And then here, it adds warmth. And I think that adds a new dimension to the image. Maybe it looks a little bit hotter in the day, which makes, you know, all the people moving around, it makes it look more, I don't know, maybe tiring or something like that. Now we can change that, we can add something to the shadows, maybe blue adds a different feel to it. Um, maybe we can make the highlights blue instead, and then we can remove the shadows. And that gives it a sort of a different feel, sort of more cloudy, uh, overcast a little bit, just a little bit, even though there are no clouds here. It gives it a different feel, so you can use this split tone to change the mood uh, of your image. I particularly like this warmer feel for this image, but you know, you can use it different ways depending on what kind of mood you want for your images. So that's how you can use split tone. You don't have to use these colors on top. You can sort of change the color. So I can make the tint blue, green, red. I can make it red. That looks like apocalypse -y. But I, I particularly like these default colors that they give, which is what I use primarily. Uh, most of the time. So again, that's how you can use split toning to change the mood of your image depending on what your image is. Let's see if I can look for another image where I can apply this split toning to. Okay, so here is an image of my sister. This one, let's, let's use this one. Um, let's adjust it a little bit first. So let's up the exposure. I'm just gonna do this really quickly to show you guys. Um, actually, let's adjust using the tone curve so that it's quicker. Actually. Okay, let's just stick to that. Okay, now let's go to the split tone. Let's add the yellow. See, it adds warmth to the background, even in these overexposed areas. Let's try the blue. Yep, that's a whole different feel. I actually like the yellow better. Maybe in the shadows we can add blue. Whoop, too much, too much, too much, too much. Yeah, I think I like this warmer feeling better. I actually like it more neutral, but this warmer feeling definitely gives it a you know, the feeling of a, you know, a warmer day. So that's what you can do with split toning. I encourage you guys to test split toning up to, you know, change the look of your image. You don't have to use it. It's just a tool, but it's a great tool you can use uh, whenever the, you know, the time is right. If you want to learn more about Lightroom, definitely hit up campcrunch.com slash Lightroom. There's a whole library of videos that you can view that can help you learn more about Lightroom. So I'll see you there. Again, I'm Nico of Camp Crunch, and I'll see you guys next time.